how to develop crazy grip strength for BJJ. Hey guys, Coach Tom here, talking today about how to develop really crazy grip strength. Um, I think grip strength is super important. I mean, obviously in the gi, it's crazy important. But even in no gi, I think for uh, the grips uh, are harder to keep a hold of. So I think it makes grip strength really important, like especially wrist ties, stuff like that. And um, and how do I develop it? Well, really simple. I asked, like, for me, who, who which athletes have the best grip strength in the world? All right, very simple. Rock climbers. So they hold on to their freaking little tiny rock holds with one or two fingers and they're gonna fall off to their death. Not really, unless they're, you know, free soloing. But, you know, I, I learned from that. I love rock climbing, so I rock climb a lot. So grip strength has always been really easy for me. You know, I've never had any like grips broken in competition or anything like that. Um, you know, uh, it's pretty hard to break my grip, even though I don't have like big hands or like thick sausage fingers. You know, I've got like piano playing guitar fingers. Um, but guys, I think a bit of rock climbing, you know, even if you went to a rock climbing gym once a fortnight, I think you're going to find like exceptional, exceptional results. I also think that, um, you know, if you can just lift some weights even every week, just holding on to something heavy or if you have that kind of job, that will really develop the strength in your fingers, which I think is also important for a couple of reasons. One, if you have breaks, the grips that people can't break, it's pretty awesome like you can tie people up pretty well and your chokes will be killer and stuff like that but also that means you're not going to get finger injuries when people do try to break your grips and you're also not like especially from standing like judo competitors have killer grip strength right because that's what they do they grip if they get their grips they're going to throw your ass and so you know i think it's definitely helped my judo training you know having really strong grips and i don't have hand and finger injuries like i do spider guard every day and different guards for all my students and all my fingers look normal they're not like weird yet um and i think that has a lot to do with having really good finger strength and taking care of my hands um if you're lucky hey like my academy here we have a like rock climbing wall in our gym so that's handy for my students but even those like a uh, grip strength i believe they call them like captains of crush or something like that the, the grip trainers they're really good too but even just hanging on to things you know like if i go to the gym to do some pull-ups or something like that i'll bring my gi with me looks a little bit weird but i'll bring my gi with me and practice holding on so get like spider guard grips and do like a set of chin-ups and then grab the collars, grab the sleeves, grab a, uh, a horse rein grip. I get all my different grips, pocket grips, and, uh, and I just do chin-ups and pull-ups and stuff like that. And, and I find that really, really helped my game. Um, so yeah, when a normal, you know, 200 pound guy just tries to break my grip, it's gonna be pretty hard. Um, it can be done, for sure but uh, it's gonna be really hard. And that used to be my weak point. I remember after competing one time, after my final match in a tournament, I'd gone, got my medal and everything, and I still couldn't even open my hands. I had to pry my fingers and they would just fling straight back. Um, I'd never encountered anything like it. I think I was a blue belt at the time. And uh, I just decided right then and there, like I'm never gonna let this happen to me because I couldn't even shake the guy's hand who gave me a medal and I was like a bit embarrassed. So I thought, no, I'm never gonna let this happen again. And now I don't even feel any pump in my forearms, like not rolling with my guys every day, competing doesn't matter, I don't feel that. So there you go guys, how to develop crazy grip strength for Jiu Jitsu. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, I hope you loved it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out more of our YouTube videos here. We are a free BJJ resource bringing you BJJ techniques and tips and hacks every day for free forever to make your life on the mats more fun. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.